Hello, everybody. Dr. Laura Dabney here talking this month about how to live a stress-free life and relationship. And so far this month, we've talked about the stress in your relationship, especially the hidden stress in your relationship. Then we talked about stress management techniques. And I talked about coping mechanisms for stress in your relationship. And lastly here today, I want to talk to you a little bit about overall way to maintain a stress-free relationship. If you've mastered all the first three parts, you'll be well on your way, but how to maintain that, right? Don't want a problem to get on top of us before we uh, know it. So how to maintain that. I often talk to my patients about the PEX technique. It's an acronym I use to help them remember how to approach resolutions to the stress. You have a stress, how to resolve it. Here we go. P stands for perception. Perception is your ability to fully understand the problem from your viewpoint. Okay? People think this is somewhat obvious or, or easy, but it's not. It's actually a very key component. And a lot of people, it, the problem is a lot of people start going to what should she or he be doing? What should he or she be thinking? Where he or she should be, how they should be acting? as opposed to fully understanding what they feel and think about the problem. That's most important. He or she can do their own perception, and we'll get to that, but right now it's important for you to understand your thoughts and feelings about something. Also, a lot of people have a lot of guilt or shame about certain emotions, so they bypass them. But it's very important for you to be able to express the emotional part of this, otherwise you're just ordering somebody around. <laughs> the, the, the goal is not just order somebody around, the goal is for you to express a pain point that motivates your partner to change. That's the difference between ordering somebody around. You're saying, I have a pain point. That means if I have a pain point, then our relationship is hurting, and that will compel someone who loves you to help you resolve it. This so was very, very important. You're able to get to that emotional piece as well. A lot of people just want to bypass that. Oh, I don't feel anger. Oh, I, I'm not needy. Oh, sadness. No, 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 no. <laughs> so it, it, that's a problem. If you don't have the pain point, you're not going to be as effective. Okay. E is for expression. I hate it when I hear, <laughs> hear the line, the pop psychology line, it's all relationships about communicating. No, it's not. <laughs> Think about this for a minute. Anybody can communicate. You know, if your partner comes home and starts babbling about their day, they're communicating. Is that helpful? No. You can have a temper tantrum on the floor and communicate that you're not happy. But that's not really helpful either. So effectively communicating or effectively expressing is what we're talking about, right? That's what we want to know. And to express yourself effectively is putting the thought and the feeling together in a cup in just a simplistic kind way that avoids anything about your partner. This is all, again, that this is you, right? So I often give the template, I feel X when you do Y, okay? So I feel very irritated when you criticize me in public. So simple. It's just, I have this pain over this. You're not blaming, you're not scolding, you're not shaming. You're simply putting out there your perception in a kind, sympathetic way. That takes me to the C and the S of PECs, right? We're talking about P-E-C-S, PECs. PECs are your core strength. P-E-C-S in your relationship is the core to keep your relationship strong and stress-free. Okay, so we talked about perception, expression. Now, compromising with sympathy. Let's talk about the sympathy first. The sympathy is being able to listen to your partner's perception with sympathy. Sympathy means you can take some past experiences and sympathize with your partner. Empathy is you have the exact experience. But sympathy is you're able to put together, cobble together a few times that, you know, you had something similar happen, so can extend it to her or his circumstances. This is not, again, this is not capitulating and this is not taking over. This is simply saying, there it is. It's neutral, okay? You have your perception, she has her perception. Now they're sitting here like this on the table. 
and it's time to compromise. Okay. Compromising is putting the two together, dovetailing them in some way that works for both of you. Okay. So here's the overall text template, right? Think about this one. So you have your perception, X, that you express, and then you listen sympathetically to her perception, Y. Then you dovetail X and Y together to come up with Masterpiece Z. And Masterpiece Z, I say that, I say that in all honesty because it is a masterpiece. You've created something together. It's your own unique signature to the problem in your unique relationship. It's not, it's not unlike a child symbolically. So much more intimate than taking over your partner or letting your partner take you over. You have to be a part of it and not capitulate. And your partner has to be part of it so you don't take her over for it to be this beautiful masterpiece. Okay? Your perception expressed kindly, X, listening to her perception with sympathy, which is why putting X plus Y together with Masterpiece Z. Let me know if you have any trouble with stress in your relationship. 757-340-8800.